Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise to speak first as, as a supporter of Israel. Uh, if this bill were simply a resolution supporting the state of Israel, I would be in, in full support of it. But I want to make it clear that this bill is not a lisp, litmus test for whether or not one supports Israel. Uh, I do not support the bill for, for several reasons. First, there is no compelling need for this bill. Uh, in committee, this, the, the, the sponsors acknowledge, and, and based on what I have found, there are no American companies that are engaged in any kind of boycott of the bill. Uh, when the state of New York, under Governor Cuomo, issued an executive order uh, along these lines, uh, it took them months and months, and the list came up uh, in December. There were 11 companies on it. There were companies in, mostly in Denmark and the, and the Netherlands. Uh, I'm sure there are companies that the, uh, that the state of North Carolina would, would never invest in. When contacted by a reporter, some of them said, no, we, we, we don't boycott Israel. We're just not investing in the West Bank. Uh, so it's very nuanced. And that's, that's another problem I have, is that we are wading into foreign relations here. This is not something that the North Carolina General Assembly needs to get into. Uh, our administ presidential administrations, going back to Jimmy Carter, have tried to wrestle with this issue. Uh, and it's still unresolved, and I don't think we can contribute very much to it. And it is, by the way, American foreign policy, and has been consistently, uh, back to, uh, at least back the last four administrations, one to oppose extensive Israeli settlement of the West Bank, which is what this boycott is all about, and secondly, to support a two-state solution. So by supporting the boycott, and I'm not you know, I'm not endorsing the boycott, but uh, you're basically uh, restating what American foreign, foreign policy has been with respect to, to, to settlement on, on the West Bank. Uh, the scope of the bill is very broad. It doesn't just affect companies, because companies are divine, defined as any organization and association. Uh, company, such companies will be prohibited from contracting with the state under the bill. I've had representatives, representatives of churches, and I'll say that the uh, Presbyterian Church USA, the United Church of Christ nationally, among others, are participants in the boycott. A member of a church expressed concerns to me, and I, I hadn't even thought about this uh, until yesterday, that if the church is running a child care program or a foster care program, which was uh, uh, in the case of this church, whether this bill would prohibit them from getting funds for the state for that, for that purpose. And uh, I don't know the answer, but it appears to be the answer would be, would be yes. Um, I have received uh, communications, emails, and calls from members of my Jewish community on both sides of the issue. Uh, I would say it's, it's fairly evenly balanced. I got a call from the senior rabbi in Durham who said he is, he is opposed to the bill and he re reflected there are divisions in the Jewish community on this issue. I, I, I understand what Representative Hardister, Hardister said that there are, the Jewish federations are in support, but I don't think there's any unanimous uh, opinion on that. So uh, for those reasons, and again, as a supporter of Israel, I'd say uh, vote no on this bill. Uh, we have very important things to do for the state of North Carolina, and, you know, sticking our neck into uh, international relations is not something we need to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.